Five Upcoming Japanese Female Humanoid Robots 2022. This is good. Japan's combination of artificial intelligence and robotics may be the answer to its rapidly shrinking labor force, and no one can deny Japan's leading position in the robotics game as of late. So, let's take a look at the five latest Japanese humanoid robots that are sure to blow your mind. Number 5. Arisa As thousands of Olympic organizers, Tokyo City administrators, and local and foreign volunteers scurried to prepare for the 2020 Summer Games, another, somewhat less anxious worker named Arisa was getting ready too. Facing an influx of Olympic spectators, as well as an aging population and a low birth rate that has resulted in a national labor shortage, Japan turned to robotics to help handle the demand for workers. Arisa, a project by the Tokyo Metropolitan Government, is a six-foot guide robot that is working in the subway stations to show passengers the way to restrooms and lockers, offer transit directions, and recommend tourist attractions in the area. Developed by the Japanese tech company Aruz Gaming and Chicago headquartered THK, she's wide-eyed, sharply dressed, and can speak in Japanese, English, Chinese, and Korean. She's also accompanied by a touchscreen monitor. After completing a test run at the Ueno Okachimachi and Tochome subway stops, the city is now preparing for a second trial at five stations. Based on the results, the city will continue to study how Arisa and robots like it could be used in the future to enhance urban operations at various locations across the metro area, according to Sakayuki Saito at the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Bureau of General Affairs. One Tokyo resident, 25-year-old Kiyosuke Tanaka, came across Arisa on his commute to work and says he was impressed. The Arisa robot is a next-generation robot that responds more smoothly and quickly than I imagined. The user interface is especially great. Number 4. Erika A humanoid robot developed by Japanese scientists is to star in a $70 million budget Hollywood film. The name of the robot is Erika, and it was created by famed humanoid roboticist Hiroshi Ishiguro, along with fellow scientist Kohei Ogawa. The two creators are said to have programmed Erika in the art of method acting, in which an actor aspires to complete emotional identification with a part. Given that Erika has no emotions of her own, she would have to rely on the algorithm integrated into her operation to simulate whatever emotions are required. The film Erika will star in is simply called B and is being backed by Bondit Capital Media, which previously financed titles including Oscar-nominated Loving Vincent. Media says the film's story is about a scientist who discovers dangers associated with a program he created to perfect human DNA and helps the artificially intelligent woman he designed, Erika, escape. The story was developed by Eric Pham, Tarek Zodi, and Sam Koj. Koj says, in other methods of acting, actors involve their own life experiences in the role, but Erika has no life experiences. She was created from scratch to play the role. We had to simulate her motions and emotions through one-on-one -on -one sessions, such as controlling the speed of her movements, talking through her feelings, and coaching character development and body language. Erika's debut film is expected to finish filing next year. The robot has already been used for newscasting in China and Japan. Number 3. Saya Recently, a new Japanese celebrity burst onto the scene. But Saya was a different kind of star because she is the product of a Tokyo computer lab. And like all parents, her creators have big ambitions for her. I think I've seen her somewhere, or she looks like someone I know, or what people usually say when they see Saya, says Yuka Ishikawa, one half of the husband and wife graphic artist team behind Saya. When the couple first posted pictures of the hyper-realistic schoolgirl online, it was a revelation about what can be achieved with computer design. Her slightly askew school tie, heavily fringed hair, freckled skin, and teenage pout left thousands trying to work out whether or not she was a real person. Since then, the couple have spent a year perfecting their creation, re-sculpting and molding her face, and have now released a new and improved version of the schoolgirl. Saya has come a long way since her birth. In order to make her more human, we have been reworking her from head to toe, Mrs. Ishikawa explains. The reaction to the new level of detail seen in Saya has been almost universal astonishment. I can't see anything but a real girl in this image, said one user on Twitter. I can't wait to hear her voice and see how she moves, another commented. 
the level of realism is absolutely amazing. Though we never thought of ourselves as Saya's parents, we created her with love and affection as if she was our daughter, Mrs. Ishikawa said. Saya was inspired by many girls that Mrs. Ishikawa saw around the area of Shibuya in Tokyo, a popular hangout spot for teenage girls. Her facial expressions, movements, and personality reflect those of a 17-year-old, though she has no specific age. When the couple first started creating Saya, she was a side project, destined to be a character in a short movie. But they were overwhelmed by the positive response when they first presented her to the public. We saw her potential, said Mrs. Ishikawa. The couple then decided to give up their day jobs and focus entirely on developing Saya. We've been living off our savings, Mrs. Ishikawa explained. We've also been getting corporate support along the way. Then, they debuted the first animated version of Saya at SeaTac, a consumer electronics exhibition in Japan. The short clip is arguably less impressive than the still images, and Saya's movements seem a little jerky, but it's a big leap forward for the character. Number 2 and 1 Kodomoroid and Otonaroid Japanese scientists have unveiled what they say is the world's first news reading android eerily lifelike and possessing a sense of humor to match her perfect language skills. The adolescent-looking Kodomoroid, an amalgamation of the Japanese word Kodomo for child and android, delivered news of an earthquake and an FBI raid to amazed reporters in Tokyo previously. She even poked fun at her creator, telling leading robotics professor Hiroshi Ishiguro, you're starting to look like a robot. The pitch-perfect Kodomoroid was flanked by a grown-up fellow robot, who caught stage fright and fluffed her lines when asked to introduce herself. Otonaroid, Otona, meaning adult, excused herself after a quick reboot, saying, I'm a little bit nervous. Both androids will work at Tokyo's National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation, interacting with visitors to collect data for Mr. Ishiguro's studies into human reactions to the machines. We will have more and more robots in our lives in the future, Mr. Ishiguro said. You can take my androids on planes, the torso in the suitcase, and the head and carry-on. Mr. Ishiguro has a humanoid version of himself, which he sends overseas to give lectures. It cuts down on my business trips, he said. Technical advances mean robots look and act more human, and that makes us think about our worth. Otonaroid looked as if she could need rewiring before beginning her new role as the museum's science communicator, her lips out of sync and her neck movements symptomatic of a bad night's sleep. But Mr. Ishiguro insisted both would prove invaluable to his continued research as museum visitors get to have conversations with the droids and operate them as extensions of their own body. This will give us important feedback as we explore the question of what is human, said the 50-something old. We want robots to become increasingly clever. A chatty humanoid called Pepper, designed by SoftBank as a household companion, is set to go on sale for around 2,000 US dollars or 2,165 Australian dollars in Japan after a successful debut earlier. That's the same price as a laptop computer, said Mr. Ishiguro. It's incredible. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.